Now, did you know that even a simplest vulnerability, something like Open Redirect, can be very, very destructive and powerful? In today's video, I'm going to show you how Open Redirect can actually, in fact, be powerful and how easy it is actually to find this vulnerability. Make sure to check out the course. Link is in the description down below. With uh, We have a lot of positive reviews. People are liking it. We're going to be doing bug bounty collaboration, meaning that everyone who joins will have a bug bounty collaboration with me so make sure to join if you already have joined check out the email i will send you an email once i get started on it so once i sort everything out so make sure to be ready to do bug bounty collaboration and also make sure to subscribe to my channel we're almost there with hitting 12,000 subscribers so just oh my god we have 69 videos that's awesome so make sure to subscribe and check out the course link is in the description down below now let's go straight into this video so what we have to do right now is identify a vulnerability and use over here to submit the solution. And here we need to enter the API key of the administrator user. We are right now the most basic boring user. So let's go straight into this video. Now, first things first, once I land on this website, I can see there's accounts, there's homepage, and that we can also view different posts. Maybe an insecure direct object reference could be present, but I don't know. We also might have an XSS, so we might want to XSS the user. So I don't know, we can actually try to see what we can do here. And there is some more functionality like posting a comment, which posts the comment. So maybe there's stored XSS, or we can go back to the blog, or we can go to the next post. The next post looks kind of interesting. I will go ahead and check that out. Maybe actually right now. So what I'll do is I'll right click on it and go over here to copy link address. I will open a new tab and I will paste this in and I will probably update this to, for example, something like google.com. Don't forget to add the HTTPS here. So maybe we have found an open. Oh my God, we actually did find an open redirect. So that's awesome. We have an open redirect right over here. I actually want to copy this address and paste it right over here so we can have this saved. Now let's go straight into the hacking. So what can we do with this? Let's go back and let's see what we can do with this open redirect. We can go back here to my account, which works. We're redirecting you to log in with social media, which I have already done that. And uh, you might have not noticed that. But let's log out first things first. Let me open up Chrome Developer Tools for, for you to skin, kind of understand what happened. So when I click on this button right here, it goes over to the social login, which says you have to wait. And then it goes over. Uh, it goes over to the auth client, which basically says here in the payload, we have the redirect URI to redirect to this website. And then here it will paste the token which is needed to access the account, essentially. So this works in a way when we have two different websites that want to communicate and one of them wants to share a token, something like Google or Facebook or Twitter or even GitHub do when you have like a big button which says sign up with and then one of these platforms names. And then after that, it goes over to the auth callback, but you might have noticed that the auth callback, which I've actually just explained here, should have a code right around here, which is needed to access the account. But here we are with no code. So what's going on? Well, let me actually show you because this thing is not quite visible here in the console of the entire website. We actually need to use burp for this. So if I enable the Foxy proxy and go over here to the login, and as you can see, it says we are now redirecting you to social media. And once I get logged in, I will disable the Foxy proxy. And let's go back over here to see what happened. And as you can see, the auth callback even here doesn't have anything. This is just a session, no headers, no nothing. But maybe here we can see something interesting. And we actually can see something interesting. Over here, it says the location which basically is a header which tells the website where do you where does he want to be redirected to where should the user be redirected to once this is loaded and as you can see this is where it should be redirected and as you can see there's this little hashtag here meaning that this is a hash and everything after this will be hidden in the console and everything and, and everywhere else and the only way to access this is for example if i add test here and if I open up Chrome Developer Tools and go to console and type window.location.hash, you can only then see it. So that's interesting. And we somehow need this to be used to hack the system. So let's now try to do some interesting stuff. Well, you might have noticed that once I go over here to the my account, uh, let me see if I'm actually logged in. So let me log out. You might have seen if I go to my account, it does the social login thing and whatever. So what if over here in the auth over here what if we just update this 
you can redirect your AI to something else. Let's put it there and let's try to see what we can do. I actually copied everything by accident, so let me just replace that. Okay, so here is the client ID and here is the redirect your AI. Let me try to see what we can do. Maybe we can actually just enter here the exploit server. So let's just try to do that. Let's instead of this whole thing here dot net, let's put exploit and let's now hit enter to see if we can just change up the entire domain. And oops, something went wrong. So we can't do that. Okay, so we cannot do what I want it to be done. Interesting. Okay, so let me try to do something else. For example, can we go over here to the vulnerable part, which is post next? So can we actually go here? So instead of the auth callback, can we put this so it actually redirects us to where we want to? Uh, oops, something went wrong, actually. So we cannot do that either. But, but I have an idea, which you should always think of when something doesn't work. You should have to think of, oh, it doesn't work. So maybe I can still break this somehow. So let's try to see if we can still break it. So let me replace this entire thing, obviously. But I want to do something interesting. I want to go slash dot dot slash, meaning that this is a path traversal kind of within the URL and then maybe go over here and then maybe put here instead of this, put HTTPS google.com slash maybe this. So let's try to do that though. So let's try to put here this and we just need to delete one of these. So maybe this will work. I don't know. Let's click enter. And would you look at that? The google.com takes us to this website and we actually, this website takes us to google.com and then appends the access token which is needed to actually get the access to the account and whatever okay so it actually makes a lot more sense now so let's go back here let's copy this again and let's now actually craft the exploit which will steal the user's accounts but we need to actually take something into consideration when we load this website we will not be able to see it on the access log because duh it won't work Similar to the example I showed here when nothing was shown over here as the URL did not show any hashes or even here in the console, that means that here the log, access log, will also not show any hashes. So even if we were able to redirect this exploit server, we still would not be able to see the access token. So how can we kind of work around that? Well, I have quite an idea though. What if I just said window... What if I just take this into a variable? For example, const g equals window dot location dot hash. What if I just take this into a variable and then send that variable over to myself on here on the without the hash, obviously. So what if I was just going to do that, though? What if? So let's just try that. Let's go with fetch slash log, for example, slash g, but maybe like plus g. So let's just then send the fetch. So this is what was going to happen is if we actually view the exploit. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh my God, I'm so actually stupid. This should be within the script tag. I thought that I was actually running into a JavaScript file at the moment, but this is actually an HTML and this needs to be within the script tag. You can even ask AI to create you a exploit. So let's view this exploit. And within the, as you can see, if I refresh the page, we should see a log being sent. As you can see, we have two requests, one which loads the website and then one which sends this and the log should contain some interesting stuff. So let's try to put something like here. Let's get enter and let's see, does log even actually send that stuff? So let's just enter this up to reload the page. Uh, hello. Okay. Log doesn't seem to be sending that. Wow. Why would that be? We need to fix this. I'm thinking it doesn't work because it still treats this as a hash. Right. This is still a hash. So we need to actually URL and URL encode this, but I don't want that. So maybe if I was to just remove the hash out of it, which is actually quite literally simple, all you have to do is say dot split to split this by the hashtag and then take the second part, essentially. So just do this. This will split it by the hashtag and the first part of an array will be blank and the second part will have the access token. Maybe this will actually work. I don't know. Let's view the exploit and let's just see what happens. We now see an undefined, which is probably good. So let's try to put something. 
let's try refresh. And as you can see, we now actually take what's here. Perfect. So we have actually crafted an exploit. Now all we have to do is make and make it work. And I think we're good to go then. So uh, let's go. Actually, this is a, this is a, this is a long video though. So again, we need to close this, do this, go back here, copy this up. And instead of path, we need to put the exploit. So we need to put the exploit server. We need to copy everything from the post all the way here. So copy this up. Let's go back out, paste this in. And this is our exploit. Copy this up multiple times. Copy this up many, 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 many times. And let's click enter to see if we are now redirected. And would you look at that? We actually are. And within the console, I don't know if it actually worked. I don't even know, dude, to be honest with you, if it worked, but I'm actually on the dock. And it did work, as you can see. We sent this to the log. And if we were to go out to the exploit server, once again, go to the access log, we can see that we have grabbed the access token as well as everything we need to have. There it is. Look at that. Perfection. So we actually cook this and we can steal tokens. But how can we now deliver this to the victim if this is actually here obstructing the way? Well, it's very simple. Do I actually have the script? I do. So window.location the ref equals to this I just close this up copy this whole thing copy it go out and put it right below here so that this first thing gets done and then it redirects so in in our case as you know it's just it's just gonna do this a loop but we don't actually care about that so let's deliver this exploit to the victim let's see what happens let's see delivered let's see access log can we steal the access token and there it is there is the access token, ladies and gentlemen. We can see the access token being there. Now let's actually just hack this website, essentially. It's very, very now simple. So we need to go to the auth callback and just paste this whole stuff. But we might actually need to be logged out. I'm not quite sure. Do we actually need to be logged out? I think I do need to be logged out of my own account. So let's go over here to the auth callback. So I think we have to say auth underscore callback. I think this is the actual website, which it is. There's the host and auth dash callback. I'm sorry. And then put hashtag and access token, whatever. Let's see if this works. It says not found. Interesting. Let's see the logs again. Oh my God. I think I actually screwed this up because this will just Oh my god, I think I, I completely annihilated. Yeah, I think I annihilated this thing because it just keeps on generating new stuff. It should have just redirected you once and not many this many times. But you get the gist. We can solve this one. The reason why it's saying not found is because every time I refresh, as you can see, the first letter is P. But every time I refresh, I screwed myself in the ass quite actually hard. It just generates a new access token. So what we need to do is we need to update the exploit server now. So just update this and take this part out. So just comment this out. So just comment this out and then probably we should be stop. We should stop. Uh, th yeah, this is the last access token that we actually generated. Wow, there's a lot of access tokens that we generated. My God. But this is the last one which actually works. I think so. I actually generally think so. So let's now see. Why log? Why is it log? What the what the hell? Auth. Uh, I don't know what, what What am I even actually auth callback hashtag. There we go. And now we should put this in. It doesn't work. Why? Why is it putting? Oh, my bad. Now. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Look at this. It uses authorization and it uses the token. So we can actually solve this challenge quite quickly because of this right here. Oh, my God. Because look, authorization is actually the token which was sent. Oh, no way. So let's go over here, send this to the repeater. Let's go. Finally, God, I'm so happy I was able to solve this finally because this took a long ass time to solve. Uh, let's copy this. Let's go put it here. Hopefully works. Let's hit send. There it is. API key of the administrator. Go out. Go back to the normal website. Oh my god, I can't be honest anymore. I'm so tired from this one. This one actually was quite literally a hard challenge. But there you go. You can see how a simple open redirect can be 
exploited to do some big stuff now go out there be responsible make sure to check out the course link is in the description down below stay safe stay responsible and as always continue hacking peace